Hi folks, Ted Cruz contacts Pentagon regarding Jade Helm. Okay, everybody's getting concerned, folks. It's not about the crazies versus the non-crazies. Everybody's concerned that hears about this because nobody is getting any major answers. Concerns over the announced domestic military exercise known as Jade Helm 15 has been a steady buzz recently fueled with lack of detailed information, plethora of conspiracy theories. All right, we know about Governor Abbott. So Ted Cruz, who's spoken at the uh, South Carolina Republican Party annual uh, convention Saturday, was asked about the government or the governor's announcement. Senator Cruz told Bloomberg Daily, "I have a great deal of faith and confidence in Governor Abbott, and that he is a long-time friend and mentor of mine." Also acknowledged that his office had contact with the Pentagon regarding the uh, concerns of Jade Helm exercise. Here's the comments below. My office has reached out to the Pentagon to inquire about this exercise, he says. We are assured that it's a military training exercise. I have no reason to doubt those assurances, but I understand the reason for concern and uncertainty. Because when the federal government has not demonstrated itself to trustworthy or to be trustworthy in this administration, the natural consequence is that many citizens don't trust what is being said. Alright, let me let me just kind of backtrack on that for you. Cause uh, a lot of people think uh, what they did basically about Obama when they think of Ted Cruz. He is our Lord, he is our Savior, he has come to save us all. Because of the last bad man who was in office. Well, that's what they said about uh, Obama saving us from George Bush. Same idea. This guy, Hillary, the next person in line, unless you stop him cold, will be just as worse, if not worse. I'll have to edit that. Ted Cruz stated that he understands the concern that's been raised about Jade Helm and that he sees part of the problem being we have seen six years of federal of a federal government disrespecting our liberty of the citizens. An obvious indictment of President Obama's leadership. According to Real Clear Politics, President Obama has not had a positive approval rating since May 30th. 2013, a 48.4 approval rating and a 48.1 disapproval rating. I'm not going to go into this, folks. You know the you know the ideas behind this, folks. Okay. The main idea here, folks, is very simple. This guy's calling him out to look like a good guy, but he says trust the government. No, don't trust the government. Let the government do good shit, and then. It, we can have some faith that they can be trusted. You don't just say, oh, trust these guys. They got guns and they're coming into your home to kill you. Yay! No. You say, hey, look, I have a job. I have the things I want. I can go buy that new toy. You know, that new uh, car, that new video game system. My kids have jobs. This is a good government. Well, you know, uh, me, not so much. So, at this point, what do I think? Seriously. That's what I think right now. So, this is this is uh, Obama's second in command getting to be worshipped for doing nothing. I bet he wins a peace prize, too. I'm not voting for this guy. Mm-mm.